Hi everyone. So today we have uh, here, I will show you how to update the firmware of the Nikon Coolpix P520 camera firmware. First of all, we need to come to this page. I will put the link here in the description, but you can come to the to the general page of, of Nikon and then go through there through the download center and then find your camera and so on. Uh, but I want to show specifically for this camera because this is the camera that, that I have. So first we come here to this page. Then we ne you will need to download uh, the, the file according to the, to the, um, to your, your system. So if you are, uh, have windows like I do, you need to download this one. If you have Mac OS, you need to to press on Mac OS. So for me, I have Windows and then you need to come here down and let's just press here, accept, and then you download it. Let's see if it will trigger. Yeah, so it will trigger and then it will download. It's a big file, so it might take a bit, bit of time, 71.1 megabytes, so so it might take some time. As well, here in this page, you will have here all the instruction how to how to do uh, how to how to update. Currently, there is only two uh, firmwares, so version 1.0 that it's the one that it comes by default, and version 1.1. So this is the one that I want to update. Uh, here is just saying what are the modifications and so on but I heard as well there even though it's not saying here I mentioned that uh, regarding battery uh, management and so on this version 1.1 it's uh, better so in case that you that your camera doesn't work you might want to update the firmware uh, and then it might might improve so let's let's do that. So we downloaded the file and here and here you have all the instructions, but you can read them, but I will show you as well. And here you have the detailed firmware instructions as well, if you want to follow it up. But yeah, that's it. So it went to the folder. So it's over here. And then what do you need to do? You need to have you need to have um, uh, the SD card uh, then to put in the in the camera so i will show you what I, I use but you can use the same so i have this one then just connected it and uh, let's i think this needs to be extracted as from what i read on the instructions and create this p520 uh, update here one thing that is very important is that when you are having this folder here that you extracted basically you will need to just copy this firmware folder so let's put it here and it will copy so the important thing here in this uh, folder in the in the um, in the SD card is that needs to be this folder firmware and under it needs to be this firmware.bin if it's something different if you have here another folder or or if you copy this folder over here this p50 update to the to the SD card then it will not uh, not work so so just be sure to have this firmware and under it this firmware.bin and that's it so let's move to the to the table with the camera and i will show you how to how to update within the camera okay guys so we are here with the camera so basically it's off i'm using for myself i'm using uh, the battery that is uh, basically connect to usb not using a real battery but if you are using the real battery just have in mind to to have full full battery okay so we need it and let's turn it on let's 
let's see. Okay, it's turning on. And now let's go to menu and let's go to the to the options and firmware version. So it's checking now um, the the current firmware and the, the what we want to upgrade and if we want to upgrade. So let's press yes. And now let's wait a bit and uh, and see. So the main thing is that to have in the card uh, we need to have the this folder firmware and then the actually firmware dot bin uh, file and then the camera will read it. If you will not have it in that uh, in that folder, then this menu that was appearing it will not appear and it will just appear uh, what is the um, the current version of the of the f firmware. So it's updating, so probably we'll need to wait a bit. I'll probably fast forward. Okay, so since it uh, did it, so basically just finished and uh, just shut down. Let's see. Okay, turning on it again. Let's go to the menu and let's see what is the firmware. Okay, so current and the uh, new one, so we will not want to upgrade, no. And you can see now it says that is the version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, this is the only version that I found out. I was not able to find any later than this. So, so yeah, so hopefully this helped someone. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.